Uh oh. What is that? Uh Oh my god, alright, it's time to back up, 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 back up. Is that the N26? Um uh Oh my god, he's huge. N26, yeah! We just killed a person guys, we just killed a person. Oh M18 got me, oh that's sad. But okay, we already have a person killed, so that's good. Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I thought we are going to play a pretty interesting contraption, especially that it's fully American made, with a British licensed gun, but it was used only by the Soviets in the end. So that's kind of an interesting background. So the SU-57, or by its original name, a T-48 gun motor carriage. And as I just said, uh, it is just a standard M3 half track that was armed with a 57mm M1 gun uh, produced by Americans under the British license. And because of the land lease, all 962 produced half tracks armed with a 57mm were going to be sent to the British Army. But here comes the actual interesting part. As this was produced between 1942 and 1943, the 57mm were not efficient enough anymore. Also, at the same time, the M10 Wolverines with the 76mm gun was entering service alongside the modified M10 Achilles that had a 17 powder, the Brit British one. So, as the T48 with the 57mm gun was not needed anymore, British sent 650 of them to the Soviet Union in, in the Soviet aid program or something like that and Soviets uh, named them SU-57. Rest of the half tracks that were left uh, in the British Army and the US Army actually uh, had the gun removed and were used as a standard entry half tracks uh, after all. And because officially the T-48 was never adopted into the US or the British Army, they don't have a name for it, that's the T-48 57mm gun motor carriage, that's the full name of the, well, prototype, kinda. Yeah, anyway, every time you have a T in front of an American uh, contraption, it means it was never officially adopted into the US Army. So the main modification uh, made uh, to these vehicles by the Soviets is actually only the green paint <laughs> and, and of course the soviet crew and that's basically it also the interesting part is it is the 57 mil the british 57 mil produced by the americans but actually we have the m86 shell here that still has the explosive filler it's not a super big one but it's well it's 42 grams of tnt equivalent the explosive mass and it's really enough especially that we can punch through 103 millimeters of armor at 500 meters that basically means we can punch through a front plate of a tiger one at around 400 meters maybe three to four hundred meters easily not to mention closer ranges and this thing is a, a 2.3 vehicle so we're going to take it to its respective battery rating first for a, for a first round. In the second round we'll drop it to around 3.7 battery rating using the TSMA plane to have a little bit of fun with a little bit more armored targets and at the very end we're going to use the SU6 um, on 5.3 with the 37 mils uh, to actually maybe hunt a tiger tank uh, for us or, or something like that anyway i think that's all from me without further ado let's jump in sorry for my voice first of all i forgot to mention that sorry for my voice i'm i'm a little bit uh, i drank too much cold beer uh, <laughs> in the weekend and and my throat is is kind of gone i hope i'm going to get fine pretty soon Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the first round and let's have some fun. Welcome to the cargo point. We're moving to the right side of the Charlie point because I want to cover the long street here. Oh, wow. All right. That was a drift there a little bit. I want to cover this part of, of map. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yes, we can see a Panzer, Panzer II, I think. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for a proper shot.
Transmission, alright. That's not good because he's perfectly hidden now over there. Right, isn't he? Yeah, and I cannot go through this part. <laughs> Unlucky for me. Alright, that's why I wanted to cover this part of map. Should I wait for him to just repair and maybe move up a little bit? I think I should, alright. There he goes, there he goes. Too high. I don't know why he's not shooting me yet. And all right. He's just stuck there. I cannot get a hit on him though. Happily I took a lot of ammo. It's strange but the shell flies to the left like it's trying to reach the... <laughs> I don't know man, this is strange. Oh he moved so he's... he delayed the repairs of his... of his truck. Come on man. Oh, hello. That's the shield of Sweden. There, alright. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, he thinks I'm dead. I. Oh no, he doesn't know I'm alive. That just sucks. <laughs> just because of the fire, he didn't know I'm alive. He thought I'm dead. Oh no. What an unlucky guy. And all right, I'm not going to be sad about it, you know. <laughs> all right, it's time for me to move up. I'm repaired. I want to replenish one guy. Because this guy in the bag is sleeping. For sure. So, yeah. Should we push up a little bit here? Maybe like this, you know, not too much, but also... Kind of reasonable, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh! Hello there, mister. Oh no. Wait. Alright, we got him. I think that's the same guy from the Panzer II previously. So that kind of sucks. Alright, really nothing, nothing is happening on this map, I think. Yeah. I can hear something to my right. That's just gonna be sad, isn't it? Oh, unless he will actually see me. Sadly he didn't. Oh no, that's the same guy for the third time, I think. <laughs> oh no. That sucks. Oh, and he left the game. <laughs> His wreckage is not here anymore with us. Oh, we have a situation happening on Charlie. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Charlie's secured. We have to watch out. Because there's one more guy on Charlie now. Maybe I will try just to get into this shadow here. For a second, right? To not be as visible. Or should I? Maybe I should just attack it. All right. Oh. Oh my god. The explosion of that thing. I was pretty sure I missed. Alright. <laughs> but somehow. Well, it did hit that part when the... Fuse got activated, right? So... There's that kind of lucky shot. But at the same time, I don't know, man. I don't know if that was just luck. I don't know, man. I think it's... Kinda too easy with this thing on this battle rating. Let's try out maybe something something higher, you know. <laughs> what did he hit? What did he hit? <laughs> I was just about to shoot him in the engine, right? <laughs> and he just exploded to something. I have no idea to what. Now I upped myself to one uh, to 3.7, I think. But I don't know, man. 
I don't know. I. It feels like it can it can go through the front plate of a tiger. We know that from the statistics, right? All right. The plan is simple. Get to that position as fast as I can, and hope that no one will see me. Actually, jump. Oh, that's a thumbnail. <laughs> that's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> Whatever that is, it has to go away. Oh, that's a Breda. That's the Breda thingy. And kill assist. All right. Good enough for me. How far away is that? I don't have time to figure it out, I think. All right. 700, 650, 700. Yes, all right. Now we know. It should be something like this. Oh my god, R3. Oh, that almost did hit him. So they have an R3. So that's really not good. That's a Puma right there. Theoretically, I could shoot them on their spawn from this position. So that's nice. Alright, this guy is... A kill assist, I'll take it. Oh my god, okay. All right, machine gunner. I don't know, Puma, are you scared enough? Come on, stop moving. What can I do to stop him? I was trying to hit the engine, I just... Yeah, I failed. <laughs> I failed horribly. Kill assist, okay. I got another kill assist from for that one. Is that a Stuk right above him? I don't know what that is. It's hard to tell. Oh, it is! And he moved last second and I didn't... I didn't get the kill there. Too high. Front plate, actually. Side plate. Oh, he's ca quite stuck there. I just... I just cannot get myself to... The gun is not accurate enough, you know? The gun is not accurate enough to, to pull this off. You see, I'm holding the same the same place over and over and again, and it just goes one time to the left, one time to the right. Now we're going inside. That's good. But I don't think I. I yeah, all right. <clears throat> we took a <laughs> we took a stug out, but we sadly got killed. Yeah, that was. Quite understandable. There was a plane on me anyway, so I would be dead pretty soon. Let's go with this mana. Why not? All right, let's go up a little bit because there's a there is a plane incoming. We also got some weird winds. That's not great. Should I? Alright, I will just drop some rockets over there. I don't know, man. Oh, I actually got a critical hit on this guy. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's actually great. Alright, this guy is out too. There's so many NTRs. At this point, I don't know where to... Oh, hello. Hello there, head sir. Oh, I lost a big chunk of my tail. I actually didn't notice that. <laughs> well, I guess it was not that important. I'm still flying. So that's kind of okay. Kill assist on the Weirbel win. I think we won this. Oh, Ostwin actually hit me. All right. That's cool. I don't have a problem with that. This is sad how inaccurate this gun is up on the on the long ranges right because we have the capability to pen a heavily armored target from a long range but we don't have the ability to actually aim the shots good enough there's no way sometimes it's go it goes straight to the place you're pointing at and sometimes just goes left and right well actually most of the time it goes just left and right <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, I did actually hit his wing. Okay. So I guess 57 mil is not big enough to, to down a plane. Quite not understandable for me, but okay. Oh, no, he actually did crash there. <laughs> There's a tank on my left. Right there. He's going to Alpha Point. And I, I have to stop him. Right? There's no one else to do it. Just me. Is that a Sherman? It is. Oh, I cannot... I don't have the... Enough depression there. Alright, so that's that's an engine kit. No, just the fuel tank kit. And that's the back... Well, side of the turret. Alright, so Alpha is taken. I will try to move up. This Italian guy is coming for me anyway. Right? Because that's how it ends always. Like, no, oh, you killed me. You killed me in my tank when I was over there. Let me kill you with my plane. <clears throat> Wait, can I take this man without... Oh my god, alright. Alright, if he wants to play this game, I'm going to play this game too. I don't have a problem with that. That's how it works, folks. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors all the time. Oh, he crashed. Of course he crashed. Because he's a pro gamer that, you know, uses his planes properly. <laughs> and he left the game. Well... What can you do? You cannot, you know, kill them all. <laughs> well, sometimes you can, but not today. Alright, 5.3 battery rating with uh, SU-6. I was just wondering, how is this plane a uh, 5.3 plane, right? Uh, and Tisma is a 3.7. Tisma has more ammo to the 37 mils. Like, there's so something's not right, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway... Oh, it's a full up tier 2, to 6.3, so maybe we'll even encounter a uh, Tiger 2P, who knows. Oh my god, they are already taking Bravo, I don't want to be there. Uh-oh. What is that? Uh Oh my god, alright, it's time to back up, 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 back up. Is that the N26? Um, uh... Oh my god, he's huge! N26, yeah! We just killed a person, guys. We just killed a person. Oh, M18 got me. Oh, that's sad. But okay. We already have a person killed. So that's good. I just wonder, where where can I find myself a tiger? Because that was two vehicles and they were a USA vehicles. So I, I'm not happy with that. Oh my god. M56 just got destroyed there. And then plane incoming, I will hide myself for a moment. I see a tiger, that's a guy for me. That's a guy I can kill. And I will do that happily. Straight into the tiger, alright. Driver, loader, horizontal turret drive. And we got ourselves a tiger. We got killed by a plane, but <laughs> I just killed the tiger, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so that's pretty good. We just killed a uh, Pershing and we just killed the tiger one. I don't know what else they want. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't kill him from the... Oh, that's a pretty cool side, but that's not a lot of movement left and right. So that's bad. Uh, Sadly, we didn't kill him from the front, but it was good enough for me. <laughs> Oof. Mister... Bombs away, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> we actually killed a tiger with a 50 kilo- Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't even think I'm going to hit anything on Bravo, but we got ourselves a second tiger, boys! <laughs> well, that's crazy.
Yeah, I, I, I cannot understand how this plane is 5.3 but Tizma is 3.7. No idea. Alright, so that wasn't a great hit. But he stopped there. Maybe I can actually kill him? I don't know, man. Well, the, the shots are going through, but they are not exploding inside. What What is this belt? Tell me one more time. Armor piercing incendiary tracers. Alright, so we don't have the explosive fear unlocked in this plane yet. Well, it's fully stock. Yeah. How is this? How is this 5.3? Someone please explain to me. I don't understand that at all. Oh my god, I got him on fire again. Oh, enemy plane incoming. That's not a good news for me. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is. That's my end right there. I cannot I cannot turn or anything. This guy all I can do is maybe drop a shot or two more into this tiger, but that's it. Nothing more. Wait. Where is he? Okay, I see him. I see him. Got a hit and I'm out. Alright. Invisible ammo, I have to say, man. Pretty good shot. <laughs> All right, we got enough of this of the tigers, you know. <laughs> Would I recommend this vehicle to anyone? Absolutely. Up to medium ranges, this is this is incredible. Uh, up to longer ranges, like above, I don't know, five, six hundred meters, it's kind of useless. You can't go through the enemy armor, but the problem is you, you cannot hit the weak spots because the gun is all over the place. And other than that, this is this is a pretty cool vehicle and I really... Well, I have it in my lineup, on, in my 2.3 lineup at all times because it's just so good and I cannot believe that a gun that has this amount of penetration and this amount of mobility and actually 5 crew members is a 2.3 battery rating. But, you know... It's nothing great. No armor, actually, and we're easily killed by planes and, and yada yada yada. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you had fun watching this. I had an incredible amount of fun hunting these tigers. <laughs> oh, we, we lost that mission, sadly. So, yeah. <laughs> hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.